cool cats and kittens. So today I'm going to um, bleach a client's wig. She wanted to do a blonde ombre. So I'm pretty much going to show y'all how I do it. I'm not a professional. It's just how I do it. So um, some must-haves that we need are bleach, toner, developer, conditioner, purple shampoo, clips, gloves, bowl, and a brush, um, trash bag, newspaper. And foil is optional. It's up to you if you want to do foil. I don't always do foil. It just depends on how I feel at the moment, to be honest. Because you, I like to kind of feel like when the hair is almost done, it heats up. That's weird. But yeah, so it, it's up to you. Um, and for my wig, I'm going to use my old foam head just because it's already dirty and colored and look beat up. And I'm also going to use my ghetto wig stand. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Oh, guys. Welcome back. Um, so, I'm going to do the bleach with the developer. And I use the BW2 powder. Everything that I use is going to be down below in the description box. So, don't worry. And um, I also like this like little um, blue, I forgot what it's called, but it just helps to not make, when I bleach it, not make it orange or brassy. So I'm just gonna mix that together. And you're gonna see where I messed up. So I put it to 30, I should have did the 40 first, but I didn't. And I was like, no, nah, let me not do the 40 because I don't want it to process fast, which is something I shouldn't have done. But um, to do an ombre, just go 40 at the bottom, 30 in the middle, and 20 at the top. Because if not, you're going to see how I had to do 40 at the bottom again at the end. You're just going to see it. And I didn't have to do that. But anyway, I went in with my 30, and the more developer you use, the more it can kind of spread out. So, but the problem was, you know, it's quarantine, and I ain't got no developer. So I was trying to be conservative, because I had a whole wig with three bundles and a closure to bleach. So here I am, and I'm just going to start um, at the bottom and work my way up to the top. Try to make sure you have, like, every strand done so i just flip it over and also like i'll separate the hair in between to make sure i just went through all the way so if you want to do the ombre do the 40 volume developer on this section not the 30 like i did and then have to go over it again So I'm going section, I go two tracks at a time when I do my bleaching. When I have a lot of developer or if I have a lot of time, I go one track at a time. So this is me, almost finished, I'm at the top. And by this time I did a 20 volume developer on the top because the higher you go in developer, the faster it processes. So since I wanted to go slower at the top, I didn't want it all to be one color, I did a 20 at the top. And I get really careful. Um, the closer I get to 
you know, the top of your, your the front of your head, because you don't need to be looking a mess at the front. Honestly, as long as you make the back look decent, it really doesn't even matter. It's the front. Because that's what the first thing people see. And if you feel the hair, like, it's hot, y'all. It's so weird. But, yeah, just be careful when you're bleaching the front because if you're not paying attention, bleach can go somewhere it's not supposed to go. And I also use a smaller brush when doing the front. this sit for just probably like 10 15 more minutes um i am quite bleached it's everywhere but yeah i'm about to let it sit about 15 10 minutes not too long because i don't want it to feel like you know when it's over bleached how it feels um but yeah So it did not come out the color that I wanted. Um, it looks more like brown. It's kind of the color, but not really. I don't know. Um, I think I might go in with my 40 volume developer just for like maybe 30 minutes and then rinse that out and then tone it. But I personally really like the color, but my client did not ask for this color. So we gonna try this again. And so this was after I went in with the 40, 40 volume developer on the bottom. See how pretty that looks, y'all? Mm. Sis is noise, very noise. This is in the sun. And so now I'm going to tone it. Toning changed my life. If you're just bleaching your hair and not toning, guys, honestly, get it together. So the toner asked for a 20 volume developer. So that's what I'm going to do. It's a, I think it's a one-to-one -one ratio. I could be wrong. It says on the box. But I ended up using the whole little container of the toner just to make sure I got the hair as well as the closure because if your knots are over bleached you can always tone them and it's gonna look so natural it's beautiful it's gonna mix it up with my little baby whisk and make sure you have gloves on and it's gonna make sure it's like all saturated all within the hair Y'all, I'm telling you, toner is going to change your life. It's going to flip it upside down. And I just made sure I worked it all the way in. Use the rest of the toner that I have because, sweetie, we are in quarantine. And the products that I have are supposed to last me for another month. So I can only use one bottle of toner at this point. Yes, I scraped the bone. I did. Then I just let that sit for like 30 minutes. And this, how it came out. Look at this color, y'all. See, I'm telling you, toner changed your life. Are you ready for your life to be changed? So this is it. And I'm just gonna let that dry overnight. And <laughs> look at that. Look at that color. Hey, y'all. <laughs> hey. 
Y'all see lace right there? It's only because I didn't tint this in my color. But this is she. <laughs> All right, y'all. So this is the final product of my coloring. Um, it took so much to get to this color. I'm not even sure if y'all can see the true color of it. It's here so pretty. But yeah, so thanks for watching my video. I'm at my mom's house right now. If my scenery looks different, that's why. But this is the end. If you like this video, when we do more, let me know. If you like me, let me know. Stay safe, quarantine, God bless.